how to create custom shapes on canva hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how easy it is to create your own custom shapes for your canva designs either it is for uh, design purposes logos uh, identity branding and etc so we are going to head over to canva.com sign in into our account and then we are going to select the field or the quadron that we are going to put our design. So I'm going to click here on custom design or custom size. And then I'm going to get a rectangle of 1280 by 720 pixel. And this is generally like thumbnails, uh, format or the cover format. So now we are going simply to header over the elements and then we are going to set up shapes so the first thing right here to put is to get an idea on how we are going to put that shape so we are going to start with this square now for this square we are going to put maybe something that is going to be uh here like that I'm going to add this square. Then we can modify the borders of the square by setting up here the borders and control the weight of them. So you can make them bigger or you can then make them lighter. Here in the term of borders, we can make them uh, here lighter or heavier. It depends on the, uh, or this is related to the weight of them. So we are going to make them a little bit lighter or we can go ahead and remove them. I'm going to add another square and this square is going to be like this. So we are going to put here uh, uh, the I letter. So we are going to make the I letter. We are going to make them a little bit skinnier or slimmer. So we are going to put them like this. And we are going to add another one like that. So we are going to make sure that everything is going to be like this. So this is uh, the I letter. I'm going to put that like this. This is for the uh, alphabetic. So this is the first suggestions. We can go ahead and make uh, maybe a moon by adding a circle. And we are going to put it here to the middle. And we are going to change the color of the circle to a purple or purple moon. So how we can do that, we're going to add another or duplicate the circle. Make it a little bit smaller. Then we are going to change the color of it to white. And watch the magic. Like that or maybe like this you can also make it a little bit bigger to uh, sharpen the edges right there so like this this is a moon going on so we're going to make it like this maybe like that or a little bit like that so this is it this is the first suggestion so let's try to create a hourglass right there by uh, adding for example two triangles so we are going to add uh, this first triangle and the second one we are going to put it here like that so now we are going to here um, fusion those two by clicking on group then we are going to make the corners of them a little bit rounder, rounder, like that. And also for the borders, we can here add some borders, but I'm not going to add a border, so we are going to put it like that. Or you can go ahead and add something else for uh, a little here square. Go ahead and put it like this or like that and make it a little bit smaller to adjust everything. So you can go ahead and put a little bit of zoom right there and right here and cover all of these. So 
we're going to put it like that. And we have here a little tower or glass tower. So here we have the design. So now I'm going to delete everything. So uh, control A and also delete. Now let's go ahead and uh, start creating some letters with uh, the uh, shapes right here. So I'm going to try and create a D letter and also a B letter. So we are going to select this shape. We're going to make the color of it to black. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to set up here the uh, borders. We are going to add a border and make it a little bit bigger. Maybe we are going to use 15. Then we are going to change again the color of the shape to white. And we are going to rotate here to a 90 degrees uh, like that. So we can go ahead and make it like this. This is a D, a sharp D, a relaxed D, and etc. So maybe we are going to create or generate a B from this uh, letter D. We are going to duplicate it. Then we are going simply to make it a little bit here at the bottom. So we have a fusion right there. We're going to make here a little stomach or tummy for our B right there and we are going to make it a little bit like this so we are going to put it like that so we have a B letter so we can go ahead and make the uh, here like this and we can create some shapes and cover all of the uh, unnecessary parts for example we are going to create a customized so I'm going to put this one like that and or I'm going to add another shape and this shape is going to be something like this. So I'm not going to add or uh, duplicate it, but I'm going to change the color of it to something like this. So as you can see, we have this white uh, B. So we are going to add something like that here. Uh, in some cases or in some or most of the time, you're going to see some differences between uh, these. So you can go ahead and cover those or you can go ahead and make a smaller right there as you can see uh, the shape of it. So here we have a little problem about the superposition like that. So we are going to select the shape and make sure that it is going to be here erased correctly. So here we have the problem of the inequality of the borders done. You can go ahead and make this be like that. And as you can see, we have here our perfect B. So it is not that perfect, but it is what it is. So when you zoom in, you will not see the imperfections. But when you zoom out, you will start uh, here noticing some uh, imperfections, but it is okay. So now we have set everything for the white space right there. We can go ahead and modify it by adding another shape to it. So we are going to make it a little bit smaller. We're going to drag it right there. And we are going to make it a little bit smaller to erase here this. Uh, area so we are going to put it like that so it is just perfect i think this is it and we can add and amaze ourselves by putting a lot of work and also a lot of uh, effort here it is dependent on your imagination uh, to put these type of uh, things but remember here when you are going to change the background color whether to uh, something uh, like that if you have some shapes that are over your design you are going to here um, showcase them so make sure that you are going to use either a uh, let's say here a transparent background or you are going to add another background that will cover all of these imperfections we are going back right there to choose only the white one. So now let's go ahead and set up our custom 
uh, word. We are going to create a word within with or or with these special uh, shapes or customized shapes that we have created. Let's create the uh, the word big. So we are going back right there. We are going to use a line, and this line is going to be like that. I'm going to make it right there. So for the angulation, we are going to choose it like this. And for the uh, border, we're going to make it a little bit thicker, like that. So, and now we're a little bit here, uh, less thicker. And then we're going to uh, round up the, uh, like this, line border or the line color. Here we are going to see if we can round it up so line start line end line type elbowed and go ahead and make it like this like that this is not what i wanted to do but i'm going to change it to straight or curve like this we cannot unfortunately uh, round up here of the uh, line but it is okay we're going to try this and see if we can do that we're going to try to make it this is a little bit much i think much uh here uh good or better than the uh, last one so we are going to uh, a little bit here decrease the uh the uh, borders or the uh, line style or the weight so then we are going to add the g so we are going to add a circle then we are going to put it like that we're going to add another circle by duplicating it and changing the color of it to white so now we are going to put here like that. We are going to make this a little bit smaller. And we're going to put this like this. We're going to modify here the uh, something like that. So we are going to add another shape. And this shape is going to be a rectangle, uh, not a rectangle, but a something like this. So like that. And then we are going simply to put it like this, maybe, or like that. Now we're going to make this a little bit downward there. And this a little bit here. And then we are going to add something like another line to this one. We're going to make a little bit of inspiration right there. So we can zoom in to see our work like that. Go ahead and add it to this specific area. See, this is not a black, but this is a black. And now we are going to do is going to add a another one, but we are going to make it vertical like that, 90 degree, something like this. And finally, we are going to add another one like that. So this is it. Now we are going to cover the necessary parts with another one like that, but we are going to put the color of it white. See the difference right there. You can see the difference. So this is just an example and here we have it. Now for the purpose of this design, I'm going to tell you right here. So maybe we are going to make it like that here. The big word is going to refer to uh, this eye is going to be, for example, for a dumbbell, 
and the G I'm going to add another shape to it which is a circular shape and we are going to put it here black make it smaller to uh, be just like a biceps so maybe like that we're going to make it a little bit smaller to fit right there so this is just a, like a biceps so like this so the big is for getting big arms and etc this is just an example and an idea on how we can do these type of things so instead of adding this one i'm going to delete it and add an actual hand so we are going to add fist we're going to search for fists then we are going to see here the uh, different fists that we have so we are going to choose one maybe this one we are going to change the color of it to black here we have the borders as you can see the borders are get in here the color of them we cannot change them but it is okay i'm going to give you here a glance on how we can do that correctly so let's see here it's just just about perfect like this or like that boom so this is it thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.